The Pacific Golden Plover is a shorebird which lives in the great Arctic North. Weighing only half a pound, it lays about four eggs that hatch in 24 days. After having its chicks, this bird embarks on a courageous and Herculean migration. How does evolution explain how a migratory animal gets from where he is in the summer to where he is in the winter? Usually the explanation is you have this certain kind of bird and he grows in Texas. And then one winter, Texas is a cold winter. So he decides, you know something, I'm heading for Mexico. So he flies a, a few hundred miles south and oh, it's a little nicer down here. And then he comes back to Texas in the summer, but it's a especially hot summer. So he decides, you know, I think I'm gonna go to Kansas. So he flies north, looking for a little cooler weather. And then each year he might go a little further south, a little further north, until they get all the way up to the Arctic and all the way down in South America. Well, this little bird breaks that rule. First of all, it's a very small bird, about the size of a dove, and it's not a swimmer, and it lives up in the Arctic, in Alaska, actually. They leave their young and then fly to Hawaii for the winter. Now, when it leaves Alaska, it has an 88-hour flight nonstop because there's no land in between. Three days and four nights nonstop. How does it do that? Well, these little birds uh, begin to eat a lot and they gain about 70 grams of burnable energy. And here's the problem. We got an 88-hour flight and they burn right at one gram per hour. Well, that only gives them 70 hours worth of fuel. So they're gonna drop into the ocean as non-swimmers a few hours short of Hawaii. Well, then how do they get there? Well, because God made them, so they fly in formation and they alternate leaders. And so they break the air waves there. So it makes it easy, like geese fly in formation. And that cuts the energy that it takes to fly. It's not uncommon for birds of that size to lose 50% of their total body weight. And that's fat being burned up along their migration routes. It's an incredible feat. Uh, if you can imagine a 100-pound human losing 50 pounds in a five-day period as they traveled uh, across the world, it, it's just something that, that mammals can't do. And so only God could do that because the evolutionary explanation doesn't fit because there's no way they could go a little bit each year, a little bit further south, plop, their fish bait. Okay, so they can't do it. So the evolutionary explanation doesn't work on them. There is another interesting thing, and that is uh, the, the parents have their eggs, the, the babies hatch, but then the parents fly to Hawaii. Now the young are here, and they're gonna keep eating and growing and great, gaining strength to get their 70 grams of fat built up, and then they take off for Hawaii, but they've never been there before. So how do they navigate? How do they know where to go? Nobody knows for sure. And if, if they miss it, even if some side wind would catch them and start blowing them off course, they still get there. And they can arrive at the exact same location every year within the, an area the size of this room. And they do this over thousands of miles. How do these animals get from here to there? The scientists are still trying to figure that out. Same, same thing with the homing pigeons. These little birds can find their way back home to their very spot where they, where they need to go uh, from almost anywhere in the world. Now, there are these huge areas that they've never flown over before. So they use many means and we don't even really know what they all are and how they do it, but when we take them out and release them, they'll circle for a while and get oriented and head for home. It's amazing. What, what is guiding them across these areas and what is built into them that God has done? I think that's the only way to describe this. God has made these little creatures so they can find their way over totally unknown territory to them. Exploration Films, where curious truths and uncommon minds meet.